Okay, I'm making this video of my tripwire landmine because several people have asked for more detail on how it works. Uh, you can see the other video of it and get the email on how to make it. First of all, when I take it out in the field, I use a screwdriver with the handle painted dark to anchor it. I just shove it through this little ring on here, anchor it to the ground. Works real good. Be like that shoved in the ground. Also, you set it up, this end cap comes off, and put a 12 gram CO2 cartridge in it. This side over here is the puncture hammer. When you pull on this cable, it compresses the spring. That's how you set it. The puncture hammer goes in here. And you pull the cable and you latch this little metal ring on this plastic nub right here to latch it. I'm going to set it. Just like that. You see it's latched on. This is the safety. It's a piece of orange weed trimmer line. It goes in there like that. I pull it up against the safety. And when I set it, I have my trip wire already made. It's on a stake. It's a round wooden dowel. I already cut the right length. It's got some line rolled up on it. And it's got a little hook made out of bailing wire on it. And this hook goes right there behind that. So once it's set, you remove the safety. And when somebody hits the trip wire, it pulls it off. Just like that. It's very simple. My stakes that I make, I cut a little groove in the top of them. So once it's set, I put the string right through the top of that groove so the string is at the very top of the stake. And if you need to take slack out of the string, the reason I use a round wooden dowel is you can spin the stake while it's in the ground to take out the slack. Works great. But anyway. That's more detail on how it works.